everyone. I woke up this morning and realized that I had two new orders, one each from Bricklink and Bricko. I'm super stoked because I did not expect it to be this quick, this fast. Um, of course, I know it could probably slow down in the future, but this is really good to me. I'm, I'm so excited about it. Uh, kind of like a light in the dark for me right now. Um, I printed off some shipping labels, or not shipping labels, um, packaging slips because I don't have um, the things I procrastinated on, like Pop Spot Shop has these cool little cards, and I'm in the process of making one myself to, to start sending out with orders that has the order number and my logo and everything on it. Uh, so for now we're going to use PayPal's um, printing slips. I did figure out last night that um, PayPal isn't working exactly how I thought it was going to because, hang on, I got some uh, information up here that I don't want showing just yet, or not just yet, I don't want to show people's info. Okay, so, um, this is where uh, the archive one is the same as the, the one above it, just from where they ordered and then completed the order. Uh, so. The difference here is that the very first one that came in, it just says get your money because the money is on hold. Because for some reason, when you get your first order, PayPal decides to say you're temporary limited because, I don't know, it's suspicious. It makes no sense to me. I don't understand why they, I mean, I, I put all my information in before. If they needed more information, I don't see why they didn't do that when I made the PayPal account. But no, let's wait until you have money in there to, to start saying, we might decide to not do anything for you. All right, anyways, so that one's on hold, but the next one is not because reasons, I guess. I don't know. I'm very confused. <laughs> uh, so basically I just gotta, I've gotta send them information. I've gotta uh, get my photo ID sent and <clears throat> um, once I, I, I'll go to the USPS and get these, get this one, and then one on my microtransaction, or not, not the microtransaction, the other account. Uh, my other PayPal account, I've got to get those shipped off and I'll upload tracking numbers for those. And then I need to call them because they won't receipt for my purchases, but majority of the purchases I'm, or, yeah, majority of the clearance stuff we got, I didn't even do, and my fiance apparently did not keep any of the receipts. Um, and then a lot of the stuff was stuff that we traded for, or he traded for, like a year ago, different things like that. So there's not going to be very many receipts. So I'm gonna have to call them and figure out, hey, can I just take pictures of my inventory? I promise you I have it. Or maybe I can talk to Walmart and try to see if they can get receipts for me. But anyways, we'll go over that later. Um, let's go. I did get my biggest order already. Um, I don't. I'm just gonna show y'all this random spot on my desk until I can get to where my orders are. All right. So this is from Brick Freedom. My total sales is $151. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty crazy. I'm like, that almost makes me want to cry. And it, I just did not realize how much um, I didn't expect that. Uh, <laughs> so let's go. I think it's about to show. I th let's see. I think the biggest one was actually Brick. Oh, yes. Okay, so my biggest order actually came from Brickow. They want 606 items from 110 lots and $77.18, including the, the shipping. And I'm just kind of blown away by that. Um, so that one's going to take a while to, to get picked. Um, and then from Bricklink, I had two orders. Uh, one of them was a 40 something dollar one that came in last night uh it's a couple a few mini figures um but they paid last night so i can go ahead and get that one picked and i uh, get everything ready to ship so um i'm gonna put my packaging slips down here 
I've got my trays. I'll go ahead and start getting everything picked. And that's probably going to take me a while. At least yesterday, last night I had a good idea of what I was doing. And I'm not as sleep deprived. So maybe it'll go quicker than yesterday. I'll have to kind of time myself. Um, I guess I need to start looking into video editing too. So that I can actually start do picking on while I'm being recorded and then just edit out all this crazy stuff where I have you staring at random walls and all that stuff. Alright, uh, but I believe that was it. Well, uh, let's actually go ahead. I'm gonna go in here. Alright, so this screen here that I was just showing y'all, uh, basically what I did is up at the top when you log in, you go into activity and uh, you can click on different things there's um i clicked on all transactions just because there's also a shipping button there that takes you to the same place uh, but anyways it show it'll show you uh the date where the payment's from um i'll show you this over here i'm trying to avoid putting names in here so yeah it has the type which uh like this is the same one it was an order and then a payment uh, and then the payment, and then next to that is the name. Uh, and then it shows over here. Do, do, do. All right, so shows payment completed, uh, the gross amount, uh, fees from PayPal, so the net amount that I'm going to be getting from it, and then here. So what you'll do at that point is we'll print shipping label. Um, Perfect. Okay, now let's see if this actually works correctly this time. Um, carrier names USPS. We're going to be doing first class mail. Um, his, yeah, his was the minifigure one. So, um, I'm going to just put four ounces in here right now just to so I can see how this works. Um, sorry, I don't know. All right. But yeah, USPS, we, I do first class mail and package thick envelope. I'm going to do four ounces, but here in a little bit, I'll weigh it. It's got the tracking included. Sorry, I keep moving my hand. My bad. Mailing day. I am going to take everything today. All right. So then you should be able to do calculate shipping. Okay. Alright, well, I guess I'm still, since I'm limited, it's still not going to let me actually print the shipping labels. Um, so, alright, I guess I'm just going to have to take everything there. I'll just have to put notes for myself to keep up with which package goes to which person. Um, upload shipping. There was a thing where I can just... Yeah, right there at the beginning page, I can just add tracking, so I'm just going to have to do that for now. And I guess go to the post office and have them print the labels for me. Make sure that they print tracking labels for me and all that, and give me the tracking number and whatnot. Um, and then hopefully I can get this all sorted out with PayPal soon, and actually start using this like everyone else does because that would be so much easier than what I'm having to do right now. Huh, aggravation. All right. <clears throat> oh god, don't drop that. Well, I'm going to get get to it then. Um Yeah. All right. Sorry, I just I feel like there's more that I should be saying on here, but I suppose not. I guess this is mostly just a thank you if any of you that didn't did do the orders um are watching this just thank you so much you have you have no idea what what all this means to me and uh yeah uh thanks for watching please subscribe uh please check out my stores um I'm, I'm gonna start putting links to my stores uh and to my instagram and all of my videos uh I don't, don't think I mentioned it in the last one, in my grand opening one, but I'm going to put, uh, I think I'm going to put links to Brick Slayers, uh, or, uh, yeah, maybe a link to Brick Freedom, or 
link to Brickslayer's uh, videos about the, about brick freedom. And, yep, uh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling now. Bye.